Welcome back to Digital Wandering. And I did a previous video uh, where I talked about six reasons to use Ubuntu Touch. And I'll put a link to that video in the description. Uh, but this is essentially part two, where I have three additional reasons why you may want to use Ubuntu Touch. Now, as, as usual, my videos are unscripted, so we'll see how this goes. And as I've shown multiple times, this is my Pixel 3a running Ubuntu Touch. Now let's get into the first uh, reason. Ubuntu Touch encourages me to use alternatives. And let me explain what that means. Uh, on Android or iOS, uh, the services that you tend to use on the desktop will have apps that are available on those platforms. Uh, so it doesn't really require a lot of app discovery or service discovery. You can just use the services that you're most familiar with on those platforms. When you get over to Ubuntu Touch, a lot of those services are just not available on this platform. They won't have a, an app, official app, or an unofficial third-party app. Uh, you may also not be able to access some of these services through the browser. Uh, so you just don't have as many choices that you have on Android or iOS. Now, for most people, that will be a negative. Uh, but for me, it led me to discover uh, new streaming services, new social networks, things that I would not have even known existed because I'm looking for things that will work on this platform. And, you know, one of the reasons why I named this channel Digital Wandering is I do enjoy this kind of digital searching, this kind of digital meandering, looking for different things, figuring out how things work. And this platform allowed me to do that. So it's for me, it's been a fun experience. And I think if you are someone of similar nature, you will enjoy this platform for that reason as well. Another reason why you may want to use Ubuntu Touch is that you just need a second device. Now, many people just rock with one device at any given time, one smartphone, one tablet, one laptop. But if you're someone that has multiple devices or you need a second or even third phone, Ubuntu Touch is a great thing to do. You can get a smartphone that you can port Ubuntu Touch to fairly cheaply uh, if you search hard enough. And... Uh, it can be a new experience for you if you're using, like most people, probably 99% of people, Android or iOS for your smartphone needs. Third reason that you may want to use Ubuntu Touch, and this may only really apply to some users. Like for me, I'm using everything. I'm using iOS. I'm using Android. I'm using Windows on the desktop. I'm using Mac OS. I'm using Windows Phone and I'm using Ubuntu Touch, essentially all at once. Uh, so that probably doesn't, it's probably 1%, 2% of users that are using all, that many different operating systems at any given time. Many people are just using this one um, at any given time, especially for any particular category. But if you're using a lot of, at once, you may run into a situation where you're transferring files between platforms and you run into problems. Now I'm primarily an Apple user on the desktop and on smartphones. Now Apple is more lenient in what it allows and when it comes to naming a file, it allows a greater file length and it allows a lot more special characters. So uh, when you transfer a file from an Apple device to a Windows desktop or Android phone or a Windows phone, you often run into a, a lot of errors and a lot of the transfers will be uh, terminated because of a, just a special character in the name that you use to name one of the files. This is a constant problem if you have a lot of different operating systems that you're running and you're trying to transfer files between them. I run into this all the time. And Ubuntu Touch has been nearly Apple-like in, it, in, it, in its ability to accept transfers. I don't have as many uh, terminated transfers when I'm transferring my files to Ubuntu Touch. Uh, so I don't know how many people this applies to. Again, I think it only applies to a small group of people, uh, people that like to keep a lot of files, a lot of individual like photos, videos, or, 
or documents on their devices that may have these special characters in their names that causes a lot of problems when you're transferring files between platforms. Probably only a, a small percentage of users run into this, but I'm one of those small percentage of users and I really enjoy that in Bluetooth Touch. It is more Apple-like in an ability to accept, allow the transfers without constant transferring, transfers uh, being terminated. I tend to use the Android file transfer tool uh, on my Mac when I'm transferring files to my Ubuntu Touch device. That's also the tool that I use to transfer to my Windows phone. It is f stable until it runs into one of these file issues and that will not only crash the transfer, but often you would have to uh, close the app and reopen it to, uh, to try to reuse it again for any other purposes for transferring any additional files. Okay, so that is the three reasons uh, that I think are compelling, three additional reasons, as I say, I think are compelling to use Ubuntu Touch. Uh, if you have any additional reasons, uh, please post them in the comments. Thank you for watching. This is Digital Wandering signing off.